the hell are you, man? I am the gnome. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. Hey guys, welcome to the Gita. We just saw Marvel's latest movie, Morbius. That's right, everybody. Is this the kind of Marvel vampire movie that's going to leave you amped up walking out of the theater super excited, or is it just going to suck you dry and leave you walking out with no energy? Stick around, because we're about to find out. All right, Morbius, let's talk about this cast. Yeah, man, we got some Jared Leto, right? I'm not a big fan of Jared Leto. See, I, I, I am, man. Now, was not a fan of Jared Leto as Joker at all. Did not like Worst that Jared Leto. Worst Joker by far. But, Worse than uh, Matthew Modine's Joker. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's true, that's true. <laughs> You're a real comedian. Well, they call me the Joker. <laughs> But hey, hey and, I, and I do like him as a singer. You know, Thirty Seconds of Mars. That was you know, he's 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 good. He's a good singer, man. He's got a he's good voice. Better singer than actor, I think. <laughs> but, but I do like her, like like her, like him, some, <laughs> like him and some of his older stuff. You know, like Alexander. Alexander, I thought he did a great job playing the sidekick. You know, uh, you know, I, 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 I typically like his acting. So, you know, I just don't like some of the characters he chooses to play. Mm. I guess you know, like Joker. But I think he did a better Morbius than he did Joker. So yeah, well, that's yeah. that's definitely the case. We had uh, Adria, well, Adria Rona, I think her name is. You know, we've seen her in some stuff recently. Uh, we've had we had uh, Tyrese, you know, old some, Tyrese, yeah, good old Tyrese, man. You know, you see him every now and then. Typically, you always see him in the Fast movies, but yeah. every, every, every yeah, now, every I, now, I have now a hard time taking else. him serious outside yeah. Fast and oh, yeah. Furious. You well, know and what when, yeah, because even his character in any other movie now almost just seems like he's playing his Fast Furious yeah. character. You know, so you just look at him, it's like, oh, the dude's a cop now. But he's he's trying character. to be serious in this. And yeah. I'm just like, mm, I don't know. No, nah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know who, who am I missing here, man. Well, what's, uh, what's, 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 I can't even think of the main, main bad guy's name in this. Uh, oh, Matt Smith. That's right. Matt Smith. Yeah. You know, played, uh, played in, uh, we just saw him last, last night. Soho. Soho. Yeah, did a good job in that movie. Uh, so yeah, man. And, and I thought his acting was fine in this, you know, for, for what it was for the character he played. So yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. And of course this is directed by, uh, Daniel Espinosa. And he hasn't done much. He did, uh, he did life and safe house and yeah. So he's not known for too much yeah. for doing a big Marvel movie. Right. Well, it kind of happens a lot lately with some yeah, of these movies, Yeah, seems to be right? par for the course, but right. he is known for, uh, like, some science fiction thriller slash horror stuff, so maybe that's why he was brought into yeah, this. Yeah, which is what this is supposed to be, right? So Right. So, yeah, man. I, I so mean, let's get into it. Morbius. I, I got to tell you, man, it was very, uh, the storyline's really not exciting, right? The, the plot's not very exciting, you know, and they don't really do... It's very predictable, if very, you ask me. Yeah, I agree. You could very see predictable. how this is going to go very early on. No, you, to, you totally can. You know, and, and not only that, but it just, uh, you know, it, it just, you know, typically Marvel movies, man, you got like, there's just so much going on, right? You got so much action going on. You got so many plots going on. You got everything tying together. And this one is really just one story about one guy. And, you know, and what he's trying to do to not only save himself. Now, and, and the thing is, you know, his, his motives are pure, right? He's not just trying to save himself. He's trying to come up with a, you know, because he's got this, you know, disease where it's just slowly rotting away his body, I guess. And, you know, and uh, so he's trying to cure himself and others like him, including his buddy Milo. And, uh, you know, but it, but like I said, it's very predictable in, in how it goes down and what's going to happen. Like, there, there wasn't a single time in this movie I was like, oh, that surprised me. So. Yeah, I got to tell you, this to me is probably the worst Marvel movie of them all so far. You think so? Yeah. I mean... Marvel took a risk on this, right? Because this yeah. isn't your your typical like superhero movie. We're talking about no. a, a vampire yeah. guy here, so they tried I, something different with this. It, it's almost like they went the horror route a little bit, which we haven't really seen in Marvel. But I don't think it it worked for them. No, I mean I think Blade's definitely better. Blade uh, Two blows oh, this yeah, movie yeah, out of the yeah, water. Blade's definitely a better vampire story than than Morbius, right? Yeah. So I mean, I, I'd rather have yeah. seen them brought. Blade into the fold yeah, than absolutely. Morbius. You know, and the thing is, you know, like you said, they were trying something new, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and I it, do commend them well, for that. And, and it could have worked. It could have worked, you know, but there was just so much in this movie that I thought, you know, first of all, Tyrese's character and his little cop buddy, that there was like no, FBI agents. Yeah, the FBI and, agents. There was no point to having them in this movie. Like they weren't in it very long, and the, and the, the short parts they were in it, they're trying to solve a mystery, but they never really solve anything. They you don't know, do too much. They don't or do add anything much. No, to they this added plot. nothing to it except like the little bit of comedy that's in this movie came from freaking Tyrese's little partner, right? You know, and that's that's really the only comedy you get in this movie. There isn't a whole and, lot of comedy. You know, and yeah, the little bit of comedy there is came from him. Holy water, really? Yeah, 
You ever seen Lost Boys? Story of my life. And, and it's just not... I was like, why? 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 At the end, when the movie, I thought maybe these guys are going to play a big role. And at the end of the movie, I'm like, what the heck was the point of having those two guys in it? Because they added nothing to the movie. You know, and Marvel yeah, movies are typically very fun. Yeah. This one just wasn't for me. And, if, and it's like, you don't need to go the, the comedy action route, but like, you got to keep me engaged. And this movie doesn't really do anything I haven't really seen before. Yeah, of course, yeah. the effects look cool. They look cool no, when the they're all vampired cool. up and yeah. stuff like that. But when, yeah. when, and when, especially the way they changed from vampire to human, they did a very good job of that effect, right? With their faces changing and then coming back, changing, coming back. And it was very seamless, you know, and just very, just smooth. Right. So I thought that, that, that they definitely did a good job. It of that almost looks like X2 when they're moving fast, like they're teleporting almost, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, it's kind of like, like nightcrawlers kind right. of teleport stuff. You see, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It, but I was kind of bored with this movie. I wasn't bored. I was just. Hoping they were going to do more for us, man. You know, I was hoping they were, hoping we're going to, I mean, I, I, first of all, I noticed it was kind of a shorter Marvel movie, right? It was. It was, it was only Thank hour 45, God. you know, mm -hmm. it, only hour 45. So I, I, going into that, I thought, oh, hour 45, maybe they just cram packed a lot of stuff into this and we're going to get some good, a good, exciting movie out of this. You know, I was kind of excited seeing it was an hour 45, but then it just kind of didn't give it to us, you know, it just didn't give it to us. And I was like, man, you're, you, they, I, I think Marvel missed an opportunity there, bringing a, you know, trying something new with a lesser known character that I think they could have done an awesome job with. I think they could have done something good with Morbius. And they just, the writing just sucked, man. They just didn't do it, you know? And I, and I, and I wish they would have. Bad writing, but it, it definitely just wasn't great. didn't do anything no. for me. Right. Well, and they give us, you know, they give us the little teasers at the end, like for, you know, come, like for the multiverse of madness and, you know, the Spider Man and all that stuff. You know, and of course, you get to see the vulture and the teaser. Yeah, at they the tease end, the vulture. You know? And I, so. I, that just seemed a little forced to me, too. Like, yeah. I don't get. The connection there. Well, I'm a bird-like supervillain, and you're a vampire, so we're kind of like similar. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. What? But then he's like, "Let's." Do, but then Vulture's like, "Hey, let's do some good stuff and help some people." You yeah, know? And, like, and Vulture's kind of like Spider-Man. Obviously, sent me here, so we should team up. Like, what does Morbius care about Spider-Man? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Although he knows about Spider-Man because he knows about Venom because he mentions Venom in part of the movie too, right? So, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, a lot of it did seem just, forced. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it seemed forced. That part seemed forced. And I just, uh, it's almost like, hey, we've got to finagle this guy in here. We've got to fudge him into the Marvel Universe. And the so we're going to do it here at the end. And the that really bothered me that maybe, maybe I was just bored and tuned out or something, but like he created this like serum that's supposed to poison the villain and yeah. himself. Right. Well, what happened to poisoning himself? Yeah, exactly. He just, it's like it's forgotten about. Yeah, he's forgot about it. Yeah, <laughs> he's well, like, then, I'm well, going to kill myself here, and then he's and then it's not really brought up again. Yeah, well, then he creates another vampire, right? So then it's like, okay, what's going to happen with that person? You know, that you see at the very end, you know, and it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I wanted to like it. I did. I wanted to like that movie, you know, because, because like you said, man, Marvel was trying a little something new here. And I was, you know, I mean, with the vampire character and, you know, there's not Blade, you know, I was like, all right, okay. You know, and, 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 and it's kind of like Blade, right? Because they're day walkers. They can walk around yeah. in the sunlight and everything else too, just like Blade can, you know, but just. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Blade 2, where they introduced like a new kind of vampire that's evolved is just mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And, and maybe that maybe maybe Marvel needs to to redo that, man. Maybe maybe give us some new give us some more blade. Maybe. I don't know. And the other issue too is the final fight scene is really lame. Oh, super lame. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, it's almost like, like that could have maybe saved it a little bit if yeah. you had some kind of epic thing at the end, but it really falls flat. Yeah, they, they almost made it like a Superman kind of battle, right? There, these guys are like flying through the air, you know, like Superman fighting somebody, and they're slamming each other into the ground, putting big holes in the ground and buildings and stuff, but. Like you said, it's it's nothing we haven't seen. But the yeah, actual we very seen. final one is over really quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. you're kind of like, that's it. That was it. Yeah. Wow. No, I agree. You know, like I said, there there, there was nothing in this movie that, that blew you away and said, "Wow, that was cool. That's something." Yeah. New. And the other you know. issue was they just resort to typical Marvel stuff, like you said, throwing each other. Like they are like jumping off building buildings and getting thrown against the ground mm -hmm. without like bracing themselves or slowing themselves down and they're fine. Yeah. And it's like, you don't normally associate that with vampires. Right. Yeah. They're That's get, like some transformer, right, you know, yeah, yeah. Cause vampire, stuff yeah, yeah, going Cause vampires on. are going to get jacked up I mean, they can regenerate, but they're still going to be hurt pretty bad. Right. So yeah, no, that's true. I mean, he's got a super vampire. Yeah, thing. they're just like, well, they're super strong so they can yeah. do anything like a Hulk like character mm -hmm. can, can take as far as that goes. Yeah. But I, I did like, you know, I, I did, you know, Jared Leto is one of those those, those actors who's just timeless, right? The dude, you, you can never really tell what he is by looking at him, right? So I like how they were able to make him, because I think, I mean, in, in the movie, he's supposed to be like in his 20s, right? You know, maybe 30s, late 20s, early 30s, these guys are supposed to be. So I, so I, I like the fact that, you know, it, 
Jared Leto can actually play that role and look that young you know, because the dude just doesn't age, man. He's like freaking Tom Cruise, on, but even worse. Right? I don't know if he looks like he's so, in his 20s now. Yeah, but I mean, he probably doesn't look like he's in his 20s <laughs> now, but he's still, you know, they can still put the makeup on. I mean, he obviously look younger, looked good you know, when so. he vampired up and looked oh, like yeah, he dude, got yeah. on the, the Marvel uh, supplements. Or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> that, dude, that dude gets his shirt off, man. He's jacked. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, him, yeah. yeah. They definitely got him on that Marvel supplement plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about the villain in this? Uh, I, I liked Matt Smith's acting in it. You know, I thought his acting was okay. I just think uh, I didn't like the premise of how he can't, like, it, it's one thing for him. You like know, I said, it's very predictable. Yeah, very predictable, number one. And number two, you went from having this guy who is best friends of Morbius, like both of them want to do good for people, right? That's why they're doing this together, right? They're, they're doing all this stuff, you know, trying to come up with, with, with ways to save not only themselves, but other people with their disease. And as soon as he injects himself, now all of a sudden he's just this super bad guy and like screw humanity and I don't care about anybody else but myself. And it's like, man, come on now. Yeah. You know, because I mean, I mean, Morbius wasn't that way, right? Morbius, like, hey, uh, man. That, that's so. a movie I really didn't care to see. I would rather them like have that internal strife where they're fighting, yeah. trying to control the vampire side of right. them and the human side. Yeah, exactly. And maybe like the vampire side just wins out or something like that. But yeah, like, this guy had no strife. I mean, yeah. just, as soon as he became a vampire, that was it. I'm a vampire. Very one dimensional right. villain, typical, like yeah. I got this going on now. I'm embracing it. So it is what it is. Yeah. Like even when, even when he first did it and Morbius trying to talk him out of it, he's, he's like, nah, man, he's like, this is what we are. You need to, you need to give into the vampire, you know? And it's like, and like I said, this movie seemed a little disjointed because, like, Morbius seems to, like, I can't be around and and have these urges, so I need to take myself out. And then they right. forget about Good that, like, part, five yeah. minutes later. Right, exactly. Weird. Not brought up again. Yeah. I, I was worried I missed something there because I'm like, you had this whole scene talking about this, and it never comes back up. Yeah. And then he never even shows what he does with the, you know. Well, first of all, I never showed how uh, uh, Milo got the serum from Morbius, no. right? You assume he took it. But there were there were two vials sitting there. When he left, there were still two vials sitting there. So I'm like, where? I'm like, where? How, where yeah, I don't know. Where, where I was thinking from? the same thing. You know, I was like, where? where you know, I, like, I guess it? he could get it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, but it never showed us that. So I was like, hmm, that's kind of, yeah, whatever, man. I, <laughs> they, 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 Marvel. We should have done better. Yeah, <laughs> we should have done better and, with and this movie set because I, I was looking forward to Morbius, man. Well, and, and this is one of those movies that's been held up for quite a while. Mm -hmm, so they yeah. could have gone back in and fixed some of it. Yeah, man. The trailers made it seem a little bit more funny than the actual movie was. Oh, yeah, and, and, the, and the part, some of the funny parts in the trailer, they completely left out of the movie. So, which kind of, I was like, oh, really? Because that was probably one of the better parts of the movie was what you had in the trailer, so. So this movie just didn't stand out enough for me. Not me either. Spe and, like, and it's on like the said, lower end for sure of Marvel. Yeah, like, and, and that's key, like you said, especially for a Marvel movie. You know, Marvel movie, you you know, you expect a lot nowadays. We expect a lot out of our Marvel movies, man, and rightfully so, because Marvel's done us done right by right right by us, you know, for the most part. So when they when they do something like this, it's like you know, come on now, Marvel. Well, lately they've been well, struggling. That's I true. Think, that's so. true. Because well, and again, I think you and I've talked about this before. I think they're just running out of good characters to use I now. That, so, now yeah. they're moving to their second I think rate that's, characters. That's and, the problem. Yeah. But I saw Moon Knight recently, and I think that first episode was probably better than this whole movie. Wow. Yeah, I didn't check that out. I haven't watched it yet. But. I'm not saying it's super great, but I enjoyed it more than this. Right. So, what do you rate this thing? Uh, hmm. I'm going to give it a six, man. I just, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, and the acting was okay in it. Uh, I just wish they'd give us more, man. I'm, I'm going to give it a six. I was, I was not impressed. You know, I was... Not yeah. impressed. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing as six, and I was the only person in my theater. So I'm yeah. thinking like people just don't want to take their kids. Maybe they think it's too scary or something like that. Yeah. And, and I can see it, like depending on how young kids we're talking about here. Right. But um, there were yeah, some. Scenes apparently, in there. people are not just coming out in droves this year. No, there were there, so there, there, my experience. Yeah, there was only only four people in my theater when I saw it. So yeah, so I don't I, know, man. So I don't know. I mean. I commend Marvel for taking a risk, but I just don't think it yeah. worked out on this one. I mean, I, well, I will say, you know, when we, we checked out Tomato Meter, I think it's, I mean, it's got a 17% with the critics, right? So that, I mean, that's horrible. I mean, it was probably one of the, you know, probably the worst Marvel movie ever with the critics, I think. But the fan but score fan, was pretty fans high. Fans got like 75 or 80 fan score right now. Yeah, so I think it was like 70, so, which is pretty good. So there are and people I, out there. I tend to trust yeah. the, the fans the more than yeah. the critics, but. Yeah. but I mean, so there are people out there that are liking one, this though. movie, you know, but I just, you know, and, and, and I wanted to like it. You know, I just, I wish they'd have done a little better for us, you know, wish they'd have done better. So. All right, folks, there you have it. That's Morbius. Uh, you know, wish we had some better stuff to say about it, and, and maybe you do. Maybe you're part of that 75%, 80% of Rotten yeah, Tomatoes and enjoyed it. Maybe you're yeah. a big horror fan and, and a fan of Marvel, and this was that perfect mix for you. If so, let us know. Yeah, we'd definitely like to talk about it with you. And, uh, and uh, hey, you know, if you like our channel, hit like and subscribe, and we'll check you in our next review. See you guys.
Well, uh, Damn, seventeen percent. Yeah, but it's seventy on the other side. Audience score seventy. Yeah, but seventeen. Come on, now. Morbius, vampire extraordinaire. Oh yeah. That's right, everybody. Is this the kind of Marvel vampire movie we've been hoping to see, or is this movie just gonna be some bit of bit of That's what it's gonna happen. Morbius, Michael Morbius. Michael Morbius. Michael Morbius. <laughs> oh, we, well, we did have some. What I did like, we, it had a little, uh, little Lost Boys throwback in there. It did. Yeah. Remember when he's when they're in the they're in the in the tunnel? He's all Michael, Michael. Give in to give in to your give in to who you are, Michael. Yeah, as soon as they were doing that, I was like, man, he totally stole this from Lost Boys. What's up, Doc? 